I felt sorry for CNN's Jake Tapper, and I felt sorry for Congressman uh, Comer for different reasons. One, Jake Tapper seemed bewildered at the simple stupidity that was coming from Comer on why he wants to bring in Attorney General Bragg or into questioning for a state matter via the federal government. Check this out. We'll take it on the other side. Mr. Chairman, thanks so much for joining us. You just wrote uh, a new letter to Manhattan DA Bragg defending your decision to investigate his office, saying that you're considering taking legislative action to prevent presidents from, quote, politically motivated prosecution. What do you say to Bragg, who says you're trying to stop a charge from happening even before you know of any evidence? Well, what the DA is trying to say is is what you just quoted. He said, stay out of local investigations. The problem with that is uh, this is not a local investigation. This is a federal investigation. He's investigating a presidential candidate, not to mention former president of the United States. Mr. Bragg, he doesn't have the luxury of determining whether or not he can uh, comply with con- congressional requests uh, because he crossed over two levels of government from the local level to the federal level to try to prosecute something that, that clearly, if there was a reason uh, for prosecution, it should be done by the Department of Justice on the federal level. Well, he's investigating, as I understand it, uh, potential violations of state crimes. Uh, even at that, uh, look, th- let's let's just be honest here. I mean, th- this is about politics. This is a presidential candidate. When you look at what we believe the role of the Manhattan DA should be is to fight crime. I mean, that's one of the biggest issues in New York. We saw that in the midterm elections last November. Are you arguing that people who commit business crimes are not committing crimes? Look, well, is this a business crime? We're talking about a federal election crime here, Jake. This is a federal election crime. Sean. My understanding is that he that he's being investigated for falsifying business records. Uh, it's you know there was a related prosecution. Michael Cohen went to prison. That was a federal investigation from the U.S. attorney during the Trump year, as well as related crimes. Um, I don't remember hearing anything from you during that period. I guess he wasn't a candidate, but he had been working for Donald Trump. That was a U.S. attorney that prosecuted. Right. We're talking about a local attorney. And, and the pro- and, and look, if you open a can of worms here, here's what's going to happen. You're going to have county attorneys in in red areas in in parts of Kentucky, rural Kentucky, where I am, that are going to start trying to uh, overreach into into federal election laws. This is something that uh, if it needs to be investigated or prosecuted, it should be done on the federal level by the Department of Justice. You keep asserting what this investigation is, and we haven't seen an indictment. We haven't seen charges. We haven't seen evidence. What if District Attorney Bragg comes forward with an indictment, with evidence, and proof that Donald Trump did commit these crimes, you, you still think he shouldn't be charged? Well, we believe that he should come explain to us exactly what he's investigating, because at the end of the day, this is a presidential candidate. This is the, uh, for better or worse, leading contender for the Republican nomination. We believe the local DAs need to be focused on business crimes, on burglary, on thefts, on on carjackings, and all the things that, that we see happening mm. uh, in these big cities that are, that are creating a crime crisis in America. So a, a lot of your fellow Republicans on the Senate side seem to be concerned about what you and your your fellow committee chairman in the House side are doing. They seem to think that you and your colleagues are, are going way beyond looking into the use of federal funds and are risking interfering in a local investigation of a private citizen allegedly accused of committing a crime that someone's already gone to prison for. It's not a sincere argument to say it's a local investigation when you're investigating a presidential candidate and the former president of the United States. Again, we believe that uh, this should be done on the on the federal level. We don't believe this is a good use of tax dollars. And if Mr. Bragg wants to come in and explain to us what he what he's doing and he makes a good uh, explanation, he makes a good argument uh, and we see that we're uh, in an area where we shouldn't belong, such as the Republic, some of the Republican senators say, then, then we'll back off. If he uh, refuses to to come in willingly, will you will you subpoena? Him? Well, that'll be up to Jim Jordan. I mean, he's the lead uh, investigator in in this particular situation. Jim Jordan, who refused to comply with a congressional sp- subpoena in the previous Congress. It is amazing that these MAGA Republican Trump 
sycophants can so wrap themselves into pretzels and destroy their entire credibility with arguments that make absolutely no sense. The man should be ashamed of himself because, again, he's attempting to say that Trump's state crimes should not be handled by the state. And this party that always talks about states' rights now wants it in the federal government's domain. It is complete. It's completely anathema to everything they normally preach. This is the heights of, well, I guess it's what the MAGA Republicans have converted their party into. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.